Yeah, I wanted to post my z-axis zero detector. I call this my KIS because it's keep it simple. Uh, it's been working real, real nice and it's about a 30 minute project. Of course, I have lots of parts on hands, but you can see this little light at the top. When I, when I lower my z-axis and when it touches the zero, that little light comes on. And then I know basically I am at zero and it's been consistent. I can raise it up and down again and the light kind of triggers the same place. I, I think I'm set up for a point one millimeter travel time right now so but uh, it keeps me from having to run around the front and look and guesstimate again then too so what this is is nothing more than a simple switch i have this double-sided copper sheet the flattest one i had and uh, when i touch the clamp to it basically it completes the circuit it's just a, it's nothing more than a switch okay and how i put this thing together it takes a diode a battery and a current limiting resistor, which you have to use, otherwise it's going to last for about one second. Makes no difference what the clip or copper board is on the bottom. And I just solder it to one side. I like the double sided because it's a little more secure. But the short leg there of the LED, that's always the negative side. And that should always go to the negative battery, negative part of the battery then too. So this is the case itself I put it into. And I just hot glued, I drilled a hole and hot glued the LED in so I can see it. Didn't even put a uh, battery holder in, probably not necessary. Um, I slipped the copper board under my sled. And I do kind of push it down, and there is a lump of solder at the top there too, so I don't want that sled riding on that. So I always have that out a little bit then too. And I clamp the other clamp to the router, and you know, it worked fine. I thought there might be more insulation between, but nah, not a bit, not a problem. Uh, here's a close up of the bit above it then too, and the minute the bit context the board you know i'm at zero it's pretty simple then too so so anyway this is uh it um i i can't say it's simple it's just so simple you know like i said i'm the probably the last person to say don't use an arduino for a project but there's a place for arduinos and lidars and every time you hook another wire to the uh, Maslow system, think about that as an antenna. And we always have enough problems, enough spur signals coming into these things then too. So, And if you've been looking, you might think, well, I have a separate uh, line or a separate curve holding in the, on my bottom part of my sled then too. I, I have a lower quadrant tensioning system I've been working on. And I've been able to make some cuts on the lower quadrants and they've been nice and square and I will release this video as quick as I can. I've been I've been kind of holding off because I got one side done and I want to make sure I get the whole thing done before I get it uh, out and published. But it works on a drawbridge principle that the, the closer I get down to the bottom quadrant, the drawbridge gives a little more tension as it kind of lowers itself and then it raises back up and takes tension back off it at the top end too. But uh, again, that's going to be another another video. So. Anyway, I hope this helps. Um, have a good day.